kind of neat here. You can see with the IR gun, if I hit the intake manifold, we can see it warming up. And then the housing on the other side is much cooler. So we'll be able to see when our thermostat opens. So I actually didn't see this with the other thermostat. Everything was the same temp. So that's good. That means our thermostat is actually not stuck open. And I assume it's going to function as it was intended to function. So we've already reached a higher intake manifold temperature than I saw before with our other thermostat. And it being a 180 degree thermostat, um, I'd say that indeed it was stuck open. All right, so coming up to temp pretty good here um, with the IR gun. She's reading about 190, 195. It'll get up, blip, open the thermostat, let it flow, and then it'll instantly cool and then close. So. Just like the rod staying there, we're going to have to put a piece of cardboard in front of the radiator. It's about 6 degrees here in central Iowa today, and this is old school mechanical fan stuff on the engine. So it's always spinning, always pulling cold air through there, but now it runs good. You put it in gear, step on the gas, and the throttle response is nice and even. When it was stuck on the choke cycle, um, the second I hit the gas, it would just like rev up to 2,000 RPM. It was really touchy. So, um, you know, moral of this story, he even had a 180 degree thermostat in there before the 195 I put back in here. And I want to caution you that um, if you're ever working with these fuel injected vehicles, you really don't want to mess with what the computer expects to see. So normally the computer is used to seeing on this engine 195 degrees operating temperature or so and uh, you know with running that 180 degree thermostat I'm not entirely sure that um, it fully was coming off of that choke cycle anyway it was still touchy for me when I was letting it warm up at 180 degrees but once it got up to 190 195 um, the engine RPM was doing what it's supposed to everything was working like it's supposed to um, it's smoothed out, you put it into gear, and you can get going at a pretty slow clip, like 800 RPM, without any trouble whatsoever. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Just a little um, quick short, and pretty much, you know, that's why you see on my channel I primarily drive carbureted stuff, and that's because I can make it do what I want it to, and I don't have to succumb to the computer's needs or buy a really expensive tuner to get everything set up, so... Anyway, that's it. We're going to turn around, head back home, pull this thing in the garage, and uh, hopefully get it sold this weekend. So, sad day. The girl got into vet school, so you just got to make a few sacrifices. It was a pretty good truck. 302, five-speed um, little Bronco, four-wheel drive.